Here we are at our 4.3, number five set of notes. Looking at example one, we're just talking about how to factor uh, where our leading coefficient is not one. And when we look at uh, number one, we see that we have this trinomial 2x squared plus 9x plus seven. And we see that that a value there is two, our b value there is nine, and our c value there is seven. So we're gonna go ahead and fill those values in. We have two as our a, b is nine, and C is seven. Now we've already talked a little bit about this in our previous set of notes. What we're gonna do is find two numbers whose product is AC and whose sum is B, okay? So you're always gonna look at your A value and your C value, multiply those two together and you notice this little X kind of like um, visual aid. This is like known as the X method um, where you have AC. If we multiply two times seven, you get 14. So we took the product of those and our B value here we're looking for is nine. Now, again, we're still running through those same motions as we were before. We're gonna create a list for AC. So in this case, list for 14. So that would include like one and 14, two and seven, and that's actually it. And now we have to think to ourselves, which pair gives us that B value that we want? Well, two and seven do that. So we're gonna go ahead and throw our two and our seven uh, there and there appropriately, okay? So this X method is really just kind of a nice visual aid um, to kind of help you factor things down. So now part two is gonna say, okay, go ahead and split the terms using these factors. Well, the factors we're referencing are these two and seven. So we've got our two X and our seven X. Again, the order there doesn't really matter too much. And then just like before on our previous notes, we just brought down the A and the C. So seven. And then part three is just saying factor by grouping now. So you've got your two X squared plus two X plus seven X plus seven. Again, everything has to be positive in this case because notice your B value, he's a normal nine right there, positive nine. So that's why we have a positive two X and a positive seven X. And then we're gonna go ahead and split down the middle and factor by grouping. So when we group and we look at each parts, we're gonna go ahead and we can pull out a two X from the first pair and we would be left then with x plus one when we do that. And when we go ahead and factor the, the second part, we notice that we can pull a seven out of both of those. And we would be left with x plus one when we do that. Now that we notice that they both share this x plus one, we can go ahead and factor that out. So then you have this x plus one. And then the leftover stuff as a result is this two x and seven. So that would be our factor by grouping method, okay? But again, this, this X is really just a nice visual aid to kind of help us out as we're doing that process. But again, though, that is example one from our 4.3 number five set of notes.